Okay, Alan, I'm running the engine off the boiler. And uh, just go over a couple things on the engine. The single cylinder engines start best if the crank is sitting about like that. There are grease points here, you just screw that in. Got a little down. There's a grease point here and on the bearings, of course. And I've greased them, everything looks good. Um, but the battery is fully charged, so I can't really get anything out of it to, to you know, out of the alternator to charge. But um, it's 12.7. Uh, I don't know if you can see that or not. But I'm sure the alternator is charging. Uh, so when before you run, oh, there's another thing. I have a temporary exhaust pipe on here too, so I'm going to take that off. You'll need to run this exhaust pipe up to the boiler, up uh, up to the stack of the boiler. Uh, the oiler, I need to put an oiler on it, of course, so there you go there. It's got a nickel in here where the water sight glass was, which you can't even see anyway, so you know that was broken on this one, but froze. And all I do is uh, turn one valve on about a quarter of a turn. That's all it really needs. This side is on over here. And of course you're going to need steam oil, and I'll help you with that too. Um, let's see, so it runs real smooth, belt's adjustable there. And uh, before you fire the engine up for the first time, you know, you always want to have the petcocks open to let the water out of the cylinder. Up here, top of the cylinder, and the bottom of the cylinder. Um, so I guess that's about it. I'll just turn on the steam here a little bit, just a little bit, does it? It's blowing all that water out of there right now. Okay, so then you can close them off once you get it running. It's normal for a steam engine. And if this battery was low, it would be charging. But of course it's not. It's fully charged. So the alternator is working, but it's not working. And I just have a temporary hose on it here. You'll need to plumb it in permanently with a valve like this on it, half inch valve. Doesn't have to be anything special, steam valve or just a water gate valve or, or ball valve. I'm kind of rocking around here on my stand so I can't run it much faster than it is. This is the drain, because water will uh, build up inside of the uh, tank here. You want to make sure you drain that out of it so it doesn't freeze. There are other oil points too, like on the, right here on the eccentric. Oil points there, and then these oil points up in here, the, the brass part moving up and down. The cross slide guides need oiling occasionally. And that's not really fast enough to charge. You, know, you got to have more RPM than that to start charging. That alternator's got to be running at about 800, 900 RPM, maybe 1,000 RPM. But the engine only needs to turn at about 250. If it was on a stable platform, then you know, that wouldn't bounce up and down on my table here. And the battery is just temporary, it's just my one off my trailer. I can't ship the battery. And you probably have a, a set of batteries that you're going to charge anyway. So, everything's working good.
Boiler's running good. It's been maybe 40 minutes and it's up to 85 pounds, but I've been running the engine here and this boiler keeps up with the use of the steam off the engine really well. You saw the pump working before, I think. So that works good. That's about it.